Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to set up file encryption on your computer and this ties in with the last video I did on how to securely store passwords using a password protected Excel file on your computer. The problem with that is that even though it's got a password on it, somebody could steal that file and then hammer away at it until they hack the password. With the file encryption, not only would they need to get the password, but they would need your encryption key on your computer to be able to decrypt the file. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up file encryption. What you would do is click on your start button and you can go into settings. In the find a setting, you can type in file encryption. And as you start typing it in, you'll see manage file encryption certificates pop up. So we'll select that. This is where it gives you a little bit of information of what it is that we're going to be doing. We'll hit next. If you don't have any certificates set up currently, this is what it's going to look like. Your only option is create a new one. That's exactly what we want to do. So we'll leave that on and hit next. Here we only have one option again. It's to make a new self-signed certificate and store it on our computer, which is what we want. We want to store it here and create the certificate to help keep your files safe if your PC is lost or stolen. So it's not just if the computer was lost or stolen, but if somebody hacked in your computer or sat at your desk and somehow transferred that file to a USB stick to take away with them or transferred it across the web while in your computer, then they have that file and they can hammer away at it. So they're not going to be able to get in there without this certificate. We'll hit next. And here you're going to be able to view the certificate. If you wanted to view it, you can just have a look and see a little bit of information, including the date stamp on here. And you can choose a backup location where you want to back this up to. And you definitely want to back it up. You could say backup later, but uh, it's a good idea to do that now while you're at it and you'll need a password. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that's a good password that's not too easy to hack either because somebody could get into that encryption key. We'll hit next. And you're gonna to wanna to document where you save this and what the password is for that file. But again, don't put that password for the encryption key on your computer because if your computer was hacked, stolen, any of that stuff, again, not only do they have access to the encryption key, but they would have access to the password to unlock it and transfer it over to another computer. So here you can choose to encrypt a folder or a whole drive if you wanted to just check on the whole drive or drill down and then just pick one particular folder that you want to encrypt and it'll encrypt all that for you. If you want, you can just say, I'll update my encrypted files later, and then you can have more granular control over specific files. For example, that one Excel file with your passwords that you want to encrypt. We'll hit next. This shows us our certificate. So we're gonna go ahead and close this. And now we've got the file encryption certificate set up. So we can now go and encrypt a folder or a file. Now that we're looking at our files, the first thing is we can see our backup of the encryption key. So this is very critical. You're gonna want to back that up to a USB drive and make sure, again, you documented the password that was used to create this encryption key with. So if your computer was ever lost, stolen, or died, and you had to get a new computer, you can restore your files from backup, but without this encryption key and the password to unlock it, you're not gonna be able to open these files that you've encrypted. So far, we haven't encrypted anything yet, but we're gonna encrypt just this one file here, our passwords list in Excel, because we don't want anybody to go in there and look at our passwords. So I'm gonna right click on that and go to properties. And then we're gonna to go to advanced. And here, the very bottom, encrypt contents to secure data. I'm gonna check that on and hit okay. 
and now we'll apply here we get the message that you're encrypting a file that is in an unencrypted folder if this file is modified the editing software might store a temporary unencrypted copy of the file to ensure the file is created in the parent folder are encrypted so encrypt the parent folder is what it's saying so it's important to pay attention to that if you want to encrypt the parent folder it's going to also encrypt your other files underneath there or you can just say only encrypt this file I don't want to encrypt everything above it so let's go ahead and choose the parent folder it is recommended and here if you wanted to only encrypt the file you could turn that on to say always encrypt only the file but no we're not going to do that we want to be able to choose it every time and we're going to say the parent folder it's the safest thing to do we'll hit ok and it goes ahead and does it i'll hit ok and because i don't have much in here at all it's done it so fast if you look carefully at this file the icon it's got a little yellow icon next to it we'll make this bigger so you can see the gold lock or yellow lock above that so we know that that file is encrypted if we go back and look at the main folder as well it doesn't show us in this view but let's have a look the long way so looking at the documents folder in my user profile I can see it's also got a lock showing up in the top so we know that this particular folder is encrypted if I go in the properties under advanced I'll see that it's set to encrypt the contents to secure the data if I go into that folder and we check any other folder they don't show the icon that it's locked and it doesn't have the checkbox on to secure the content either. If we drill down to one of these just to check it out, we can see uh, one file here, even though it's kind of big. It doesn't look like it's encrypted and it's not turned on to encrypt. So it's not encrypting all the files within that by default, but if we created some other file for example we'll go in here and just create a text file and I'll just leave it with the default name let's go ahead and make this bigger you can see the text file is now encrypted but the previous files that I have in here or in any other subfolder of that folder are not encrypted so it's just going forward when it creates a temporary file like it said earlier then that will be encrypted as well if you ever want to unencrypt the file in the future you can go in here in the properties under advanced and simply uncheck that box to encrypt the contents we'll hit ok and ok you don't have to hit apply every time you can see that's gone and that's it for this tech tour. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.